Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned about the view chain. So that means catching the single element in the component instance, the DOM element in the component instance, we have seen it. But if you are having multiple elements means, then how we can use it? So uh, we have an another decorator that is view children. Instead of accessing the view chain, we will be using the view children. So the same thing, how it will be like view chain, we can access the element ref, we can access the component instances, we can access the directive or otherwise we can access the view container reference also. So there are so many ways in which we can access it. So let's try to see this one in a simple example. So I will try to show you in a demonstrate in a simple example. Here I am creating a new component that is NGGC task component. Okay. So it's a task. So let's create this task. So it will take some time to create in my, in my laptop. So let it create. So now here I have created a component that is task component. Let's go to this app component.ts file. So here I will include this task component here as this one is all standalone. So task component has been included. And now here we will be having app.component.html. And in this one I will comment out this code so that we can have only the task component. Here I will be creating a app iPhone task okay so this is our task now let's say that in our app component.ts file we are having a multiple tasks so let's think that i am having a tasks is equal to task 1 okay task 2 and here task 3 and we will be having another one is a task 4 let's assume so we are having it four tasks now I want to loop over this all the tasks app iphone tasks so ng for is equal to task of tasks tasks and I will try to send this task as an input so here I will then send this task name as the task okay so let's capture this one in our uh, task component okay task component.ts file and here let's take this one as at the rate input this should be imported from the angular core and this one is a task name of type string okay and this task name is there now let's go to the task.component.html okay and here you will be having a do and this one is task name okay so that's it so now you will be able to see this all the task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 is there so it is displaying one by one task 1 task 2 task 3 so now here i want to capture this html so here i want to capture this app iphone task so for this one what we can do so here we but we cannot access it why because this app iphone task we are having multiple times so here we are having four times the app iphone task is there so that means it is not a single one it is a children so for that one what we need to do is instead of accessing that one using the view chain we need to access it using the view children okay view children so this should be imported from the angular core and the task component we will be accessing the task component and here you can give something like task components okay task components and here you can tell it as a task component okay that's it so now you have we got the task components and where we can access this one ng after view init ng after view init and now here i will try to console.log console.log this dot task components okay so now if you try to see here in our console so we will be able to access all the things and this should be of type query list okay so we are getting a multiple task components right so this should be of type query list i forgot to tell you this should be of type query list and this should be imported from the angular code and this query list is something like an array type of thing so which we can loop over these all the DOM elements now here if you try to see this does task comments and now if I refresh this page now you will be able to get these all the things as a query list okay now if you try to check the length of this one so we will be having some couple of methods like length filter for each loop like this we will be able to have it now here if you try to see so you are getting the length as 4 so this is how we can get it now we are getting a query list of task component now what i can do here i can loop over each one so here this dot 
task components dot for each so we can use the for each or some or anything you can use it for each of i will get each task okay and here i can do the console dot log console dot log of and i will get each task component it's a component right we have i have told you it's a component and here i can write task component dot and in that one we are having an input value that is task name right you can directly use the task name so the properties and the methods which are available in the task component we can use those means right now here we are having input property and that property you can directly use it here so that it will display the input value okay so this is one one thing now so view children also i told you right so we have also an another second argument which takes an object that's an options object and you can tell that task component right now it is taking it as a component you can also tell that you can take it as an element ref so which is something like a native html dom element so for that you can apply padding margin and all those things you can apply so here i will be apply i will be telling that it should be read as element ref not as an component instance so now here also you can tell it as element ref okay element ref that's it now here you will not able to ask that uh, you are not able to access the task name instead of that one you will be able to see that one as an html element so the native element means it's an html element so like this also you can be able to access it so the query list has the plenty of methods something like for each loop length size you can able to get some every and you can do whatever thing so so some filter option so many things are there apart from that one you can also have an another option that is nothing but subscribing option so whenever an element has been changed in this one so you can also apply that that one also so for that one what we can do it is so we can have a changes so here you can write something like now uh, this dot task components okay this dot task components dot changes okay whenever it is changes and here i can do sorry changes dot subscribe i can use the subscribe okay this is an rxjs thing and here i can use something like console dot log child components has changed okay so this is the method which we can use it now whenever a new element or anything is happen uh, change it means then then this then this changes subscribe will be executed for example let's say that i will write a set time out here so set time out after some time i will try to fire i will try to push this dot tasks dot push of hi lila or anything i will push it okay and here i will use something like 3000 so 3000 milliseconds sorry 3 seconds now if you try to see here now see after some time task child components has been changed and hi lila that new new uh, new element has also been added so this is all about the view children in the angular so hope you understood about this view children and all the concept i will try to commit this one in the new branch that is video hyphen 22 okay so who are maybe having doubts or anything so i'll be providing the github repository url in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one by cloning the repository and also guys if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you